Austin, Sean here. Phil and I are the early risers. Ah. And uh, I spent the morning downstairs looking through our huge amounts of bits and I found so much cool stuff that is going to make your heroes just ah into these unique pieces. I didn't find any extra horses, so I'm not going to be making full extra guys, uh, although I, I, I will if I find mounts for them. So here we go. Uh, glad to hear your input. Um, so one guy, I definitely want to give him like this dragon cloak, like he slayed a dragon. And I've got lots of little banner and lance and spear pieces. Uh, by the way, this is the last dark elf piece you're going to see. So you have like this little dragon piece there. Might incorporate that. This is a lance tip and it's got kind of this really cool pennant. Uh, this might be a little too dark elfy though, so I might either cut, I might cut those little side things off. Okay, um, what's I gonna do with this? Oh yeah, this little uh, griffin. So one guy might make like griffin themed, so I'm thinking of putting that on his shield as an embossed piece. So yeah, a lot of these spruce are just like one thing that's gonna come off of them. So on this we've got, uh, I thought of making one guy look almost like a, like a, have a questing knight feel. So I've got like this brazier, this little board with, uh, you know, with a parchment on it, this uh, little reliquary looking thing. Okay, we're not to the good stuff yet. Okay, now empire. So the trick is that it can't look like there's empire stuff on these guys. I'm just incorporating like little pieces. So for example, uh, here's a really cool sword that's like hanging. So I want these guys to have the feel like they've been around for a while. Uh, cutting this off at the hand might make a really cool trumpeter for something else in the army. So I was looking at that. And, oh, one of the heroes, I want to make him like the, uh, the science knight. And instead of like something on his head like an animal, give him like astrolabes and stuff like that. So this is a cool piece. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of things like that. I don't know how I would make that come to life. I'm just going to kind of play around with it. Uh, oh, here, and I don't know how to incorporate these, but cutting off these little kneecaps, they have these cool little gob leering goblin faces, which I thought was a neat piece. Oh, this as the top of a helmet. So just cut that off right there. And so, and you've got a unique like helmet top. That's really cool. Uh, more little griffins. Griffins with little like pennants on them. Not sure what I might do with those. Again, the astrolabe thing. This, maybe a little steampunk something with that. That, uh, I guess, uh, stovepipe. Again, I, I don't know exactly how I'm going to incorporate all these. Uh, found these little griffins. These are the um, the hammers for a war machine. So maybe get rid of the, the little hammer and make it into like a sword or something. That might be a cool like shield piece for one of the guys. Um, here we've got, I definitely want to give them cloaks. So, um, what did I see on here that was cool? Oh, just this little sword. Oh, and, uh, maybe incorporate like some like bedrolls and equipment. Oh yeah, here it is. This is going on. This is going on. Two wine bottles, like trussed up. That's a really cool piece. It's going to turn these guys into these unique pieces. Here's another astrolabe telescope looking thing. And uh, what do we got here? This is like little potions. Well, they're vials of gunpowder, but they could be interpreted as potions. Uh, again, uh, I want to give them like little dirks. Uh, dagger things. There's a bunch of them on here with little pennants. So I think that's really a cool feature. And oh, here you go. This would make a really wild helmet top for one of those guys. Again, uh, it's a griffin thing, so not sure how many of those I'm going to need. Oh, this. This is like a cool pennant, so I'm not sure where to incorporate that. Maybe if a guy has an upraised lance, we'll just, uh, we'll just make that go on there somehow. Uh, another astrolabe piece. So this is this is actually the size that you might actually put it on the uh, the science knight's 
helmet. It reminds me of a Sir Whoever it is from Monty Python and the Holy Grail, the one that's weighing the witch. Okay, more helmet tops here. Eagle, here's a, here's a griffin. Uh, there's a guy that I want to make into like the dragon hunting knight. Oh, a pennant. So that's, uh, that's a really cool piece. All right, only a couple more here. Oh, here's a cloak. So I just need to like file off these pieces and make it make sense. And uh, I, think that's, I think that's it. Might incorporate this pennant into like a, a lance or something like that. Lots of those. Okay, we're in the home stretch here. Uh, more like weapons to put on them. This is high elf stuff though, so I gotta be careful. I thought for my dragon slaying guy, I would put this piece on top of his helmet as like his, his animal thing that a lot of them have. Um, oh, more pennants. These are really cool little things. Each one's unique. Uh, I would get rid of the high elf rune on there. I would just shave that off. Um, oh, and then I just found a bunch of Bretonian heads in case I have to use those. So that's it. Give me your feedback, but let's do it quick because Chris is going to be here in about an hour and I'm going to do all the little conversions and additions to the heroes and um, uh, so he can paint those up and uh, we, are, we are putting in the needed man hours to make the project uh, a beautiful work of art. So thank you.